Welcome back to Destroyer 1320. Today we're going to take a closer look at this here Mustang. Oh, that thing's fast. Just in case you were wondering, yes, this is part of the Destroyer 1320 family. And the car's name is Jarhead. Just give you a quick little overview. Check this thing out. Absolutely ridiculous. Built by Brian Collins. It's got tons and tons and tons of goodies in this thing. Let me go ahead and uh, pop this open. Oh yeah, she is all ready to rock and roll. Full cage. And he did what I wish my dart had. This cage is tucked up in here so well that you can hardly tell it's even in the vehicle. And yes, that is the stock dash. Pretty awesome, huh? It is a nitrous car. And this was originally a four speed car. Uh, it is an SSP. For Mustang people who know, you know, SSP was an FBI vehicle. Uh, they're pretty rare to get your hands on, I guess. So, um, yeah, this is uh, the beast. Uh, let's see, the last time he ran it, he ran uh, 998 on motor. So, uh, the next time we run it, I think he's going to smack it with some nitrous here. And uh, I may owe an apology to a few people. Um, yes, this is a Destroyer 1320 car. No, this is not my car. Brian would not sell this car. He is not done playing with it yet. Uh, when he is done, maybe I will purchase it. But uh, until then, no, this is Brian Collins' car. The guy who's helping me do all the fabulous work on the dart. Uh, he actually, we put this in here because my car is in his garage. So, sorry guys if I messed. I know a few of you out there are like, you're a butthole. And yes, I may be, but hold on a second. Let me set the record. Uh, let's look for, where is the Ford symbol? Let me find, let me find the Ford. Let's see. Nope. Uh, not over there. Let's see. That's not it. Nope. Nope. Still still trying to find. Maybe there's one on here. Nope. I don't see one. Oh, nope. I guess there's not one in this garage. So, no, 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 no. I'm not, not going over to the Ford side yet. These are the ultimate platform for drag racing, though. I have to say these vehicles are insane. And, I, yes, I did shave my head for charity on the meme show the other day. So... Appreciate everybody who helped out with that, but let's get back to the car. I know that's why you're here. All right, so yes, this is a Man of War 427 block. Uh, it's got AFR heads on it. Uh, let's see, he just changed the intake. It's a BPM intake induction solutions uh, kit on here, up to 400 horsepower of nitrous. He's actually changing out this carburetor. It is a Pro Systems. It's a 1050, and uh, yeah, man, he has done all the work on this thing himself, completely set it up. This thing is just an absolute ripper, and you'd hardly ever know at the track until he starts it. It's an uh, absolutely unreal car. Cannot wait to uh, have this thing sm get smacked with some nitrous. Got the uh, parachute all set up on there. I mean, this thing is just about as clean as clean can get. Oh, let's take a look under here. Oh, let me hit my light. Bang. Check that suspension and stuff out. Strange adjustable shocks. I'm trying to remember what rear end it was. He can chime in for me on that. I don't remember. But this is an absolutely unreal build. It has been built front to back. It is just absolutely, absolutely nasty. So, yeah, sorry guys. Awesome car, 
part of the Destroyer 1320 channel and there will be many more videos on it. But no, I did not purchase it. No, I didn't go over to the dark side. You guys can stop kicking me in the head for that. Sorry I played around with your emotions. But you know, once in a while you gotta have a little fun. And I, I maybe went a little too far with this one for some of you guys, but I'm sorry from the bottom of my heart, but I'm a Mopar guy. I love all cars, but I drive Mopars and that's what's gonna be in my garage. So as soon as the dark's done, this beautiful car is going to head back to its, its home at Brian Collins' house. And uh, yeah, it, we'll see, still see it on the channel though. We're gonna go take it racing, hopefully do some uh, no prep style stuff out there at Wild Horse before they close it next year. And um, yeah, look for more updates on both the Dart and the Mustang called Jarhead. I'll check you guys on the next one. See ya!